So, you're saying a person's a virgin until they've had intercourse with a member of the opposite sex. Isn't that the standard definition? <laughs> Again, with the standards. I think virginity is lost when you make love for the first time. With a member of the opposite sex. Why? Why only then? Because that's the standard. So, if a virgin's raped, then she's still a virgin. No. Of course not. Yeah, because rape is not the standard. So she's had sex, but not the standard idea of sex. Hence, according to your definition, she'd still be a virgin. All right, revision. Mm -hmm. Virginity is lost when the hymen is broken. Then I lost my virginity at 10. Because I fell on a fence post when I was 10 and broke my hymen. So now I gotta tell people I lost it to a wooden post I'd known my whole young life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second revision. Virginity is lost through penetration. Physical penetration or emotional? Emotional? Well, I fell in love hard with Caitlin Bree when we were in high school. Physical penetration. We had sex. Yeah, but not real sex. I move to have that remark stricken from the record, well, on account of it makes you come off as completely naive and infantile. Okay, well, where's the... Penetration and lesbian sex. <laughs> really? A finger? Oh. I have had a finger up my ass, but I wouldn't go around telling people that I've had anal sex. Did I hold up a finger? <laughs> no! <laughs> really? We're built to pass a child, for Christ's sake. But doesn't that hurt? Sure, but in a good way. And it's only a once-in-a-while thing, reserved for very special occasions. But what about not-so-special occasions? Tongue only. All right. How could that be enough? How big does a tongue really get? <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Hold on. Hmm? Just give me a second. 